Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another makeup um, first impression review tutorial, whatever you want to call a video, with another palette that I got from one of my friends for my birthday, and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I believe this, yes, this is volume three. Um, I've been seeing so many pictures all over the place with some really great looks with this. Um, I know this came out a little while ago, but nonetheless, I still think it is an amazing palette and I'm so grateful to my friend who gave this to me so I'm very excited to try this out. So here is the palette. I think this may be the biggest palette that I've ever owned. Um, it's literally gigantic. And here are the colors. It is full of some beautiful shades. They're all very vibrant. There are some matte, some shimmer, some more neutral shades, and some neon fun shades. I think this is a good palette for um, either everyday use if you wanted to use the neutral shades or if you wanted something that um, will help you put together some fun looks I think this would be a fun palette for that as well and it also has this giant mirror on it which is super great too. So with all the colors and shades in this palette I think the look that I'm going to try and put together today is going to be a more warm tone look with some oranges and maybe some yellows just because I am going to shoot some photos after this for my blog and Instagram and I kind of have a vision in mind and it has to do with orange shades so I am going to use those shades to help me put together a look for those photos. So first things first, I'm going to prime my face with my Soft Focus Glow Drops from Rodeal. This is just an illuminating glow primer. I love this primer. It, smell, it smells great. And it leaves your face looking very glowy and nice. So while the primer is drying, I went and I primed my eyelids with some concealer. Um, you can use either concealer if you don't have eyeshadow primer. I just prefer concealer, so that's what I use. So this is going to be a very bright look if things turn out all right. So the first color that I'm going to go in with is the shade E3, which is this very bright orange at the bottom here. So that was technically my base shade and as you can see that turned out very bright. So these shades are like super pigmented but like I said it's going to be a very vibrant bright look that I'm going for today so I'm okay with it. Next I'm going to go with the shade A2 which is this one here. A2 and A5, this one here, are kind of similar but I think I like the um, tone behind A2. It's more of like a yellow hue rather than the red hue of A5. But if I don't like A2, I can always go back over with A5. So as you can see, it is super bright, but um, the pictures that I'm going to be taking after this, um, it is, like I said, an orange theme and it's supposed to be like summery. So I think, so far so good, I think. So next I'm going to go in with the shade E4, which is this yellow here, and go over top just to kind of blend it out and go from like an orange to a yellow. So I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I did go from an orange to a yellow. This yellow kind of had a green undertone to it, but once I blended it with the orange, it came out more of a warm tone, which is what I'm going for. So it's kind of like a sunset vibe going on right now, 
But um, yeah, so blended very nicely. It is still very vibrant, so I know I look like a crazy mess right now, but hopefully by the end of this, it makes sense. So for underneath my waterline, I'm going to do the shimmery shade D5, which is this one here, just to give it a little shimmer, because the rest of the shades that I use are very matte, and I wanted to see how the shimmer shades work out, because when I do these videos, I like to try one of each kind of shade to let you guys know what I think of them. So by itself, it's not super pigmented, but once you blend it in with a matte shade, it comes out like very, very pretty. Um, either way, it is a very creamy shadow and the shimmer is very nice. Although, me saying that it's not super pigmented by itself, that could be just because of the way I applied it. So that could be 100% my fault because once I got towards the inside of my eye, um, it came out a lot better. So that could be entirely my fault. And now that I'm looking in a mirror down here, it does look a bit better. So next I'm going to use my Kat Von D ink liner to um, go over my eye. I'm going to do a cat eye. Hopefully it cleans this up a bit and makes it look a little more presentable. Okay, so now stepping away from the eyes, I'm going to um, use my foundation, my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 3.5. This is my tried and true foundation that I absolutely love, that I, it's just my go-to. And then next for concealer, I have my Tarte Shape Tape, which again is my go-to for concealer. I just thought this was worth a mention that the illuminating glow drops that I, or the soft focus glow drops that I used earlier from Rodeol as my primer, um, it does give your foundation and concealer a bit of a dewy look rather than a matte look. So if you are more of a matte kind of person, I probably wouldn't use this, but I like these for a dewy look in the summertime. Wintertime, I'm more of a matte person, but in the summertime, I don't mind a nice or in springtime, I don't mind a nice dewy look. Plus, which leads to the next step of my routine, I always use a nice finishing powder to kind of tone down the dewiness just a little bit. It'll still look dewy, but not like sweaty. So I'm using my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder for that. So next for some blush and bronzer, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette, which is super old, but I still love it and I'm determined to use it until it's all gone. And then for highlighter, I have my Urban Decay Afterglow in the shade Sin. And 
And then moving back to eyes for mascara, I'm going to use one of the million Dove travel size Buxom mascaras that I have. I really like this mascara, it works really, really well. Lastly for lips, I have one of my ColourPop uh, lip tint crayons. It is ColourPop, just a tint. I don't, oh, the shade is Rise and Shine. I like this because it kind of has like an orangey, pinky peach tint to it and it is not, it doesn't dry out your lips, which is super great. So there you have it, here's the finished look. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. I don't know if you can really tell in the camera here, but it kind of went from like a yellow to an orange shade, which is what I was going for, um, for the pictures that I'm about to take. Um, but I really love this palette, which, you know, that's the purpose of me making these videos is to let you guys know what I think of these palettes. And I really love this palette. These shades are super pigmented. Um, I have a couple other Anastasia Beverly Hills products and they're always super great. I love that brand. Um, the products are so high quality. Um, I think this palette, the best thing about this palette is the number of shades that you can choose from. Whether you're going for a more neutral look for work or, you know, daytime or a nighttime look and something more vibrant, you can find it in this palette. Um, I totally recommend. I do have one more palette that I am going to make a video for in the coming weeks until I go out and get some more palettes or more makeup, which I'm sure is bound to happen. Um, but anyway, the upcoming palette is a ColourPop palette, so I will be trying that out in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. And if there are any other um, makeup products, skincare products, palettes, anything of the like that you'd like um, to know more about, I can go out and try and um, find out more about it and test it out and let you guys know what I think. And real quick, I just want to mention that if you um, are a big fanatic when it comes to fashion and beauty, skincare, makeup, even home decor, some lifestyle products, um, I highly recommend joining my Facebook group or Facebook community called Smart Style Society. Um, I try to post sales that I from my favorite retailers in there or any retailers that come across my inbox. So you can, uh, what you can expect from this group are sales. If you have any questions that you know regarding clothing, skincare, makeup, anything like that, feel free to ask it there. Um, if you come across any articles about different fashion trends or anything like that, you can you know talk amongst the other members in the group about it. You can share any sales that you have. Maybe you bought a new uh, dress that you want to share. By all means, I really want my Facebook group to become like a fashion community that everybody can lean on each other for advice or discussion or anything like that. So like I said, it was called Smart Style Society. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Um, also be sure to check out my blog on breakablebliss.com and you can find the article that goes with this video among a bunch of other articles. Um, I'm going to start doing a DIY uh, series on there. I've got tons of different like product roundups, all kinds of stuff on there. And if you liked today's video, make sure you hit the red button down below to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell next to it to be notified of whenever I post. And make sure you check me out on social media at Bree Cutter. And until next time, see you guys.